Jai Gurude children. Happy Friday. So what are we going to do today? Today is something special. We are going to listen to one story and read another story. Shall we start? Children, now listen to the passage I read carefully. I will read it out twice. If you have really understood the passage, you will be able to answer the questions that I ask later. So are you ready? The title of the passage is Anu's Umbrella. Anu has a big umbrella that she likes to use on rainy days. She got this umbrella three years ago as a birthday gift from Jia. Anu's umbrella is colorful and the handle is silver in color. The umbrella is so big that four kids fit under it. When other kids forget their umbrellas, Anu lets them share her umbrella. The other kids think her umbrella is really cool. Before she got her umbrella, Anu did not like to walk home from school on rainy days. She would ask her mom to pick her up from the school. Now that she has a big umbrella, she loves to walk home from school. Her friend Jia usually walks home with her. The girls love watching the rain fall down the edges of the umbrella. Got it children? I'll read it out once again. Listen carefully. The title of the passage is Anu's Umbrella. Anu has a big umbrella that she likes to use on rainy days. She got this umbrella three years ago as a birthday gift from her friend Jia. Anu's umbrella is colorful and the handle is silver in color. The umbrella is so big that four kids can fit under it. When other kids forget, uh, forget their umbrellas, Anu lets them share her umbrella. The other kids think her umbrella is really cool. Before she got her umbrella, Anu did not like to walk home from school on rainy days. She would ask her mom to pick her up from school. Now that she has a big umbrella, she loves to walk home from the school. Jia usually walks home with Anu. The girls love watching the rain fall down the edges of the umbrella. Got it children? Now let us see the question answers. Answer the following questions. First one. When did Anu get her umbrella? The given options are 2 years ago, 3 years ago and 5 years ago. When did Anu get the umbrella children? I will not give you answer unless you tell me. Yes, it's 3 years ago. Good. Second one. When does Anu use the umbrella? The options are on a rainy day. On a winter day, on a sunny day. When does she use the umbrella? On a rainy day. Correct. <coughs> what does Anu do when other kids forget their umbrella? Third question. 
what does anu do when other kids forget their umbrella what does she do come on yes she shares her umbrella the answer is correct but how do we answer in a complete sentence now give me the answer in complete sentence you can take half the um, half the sentence from the question itself yes try good when other kids forget their umbrella anu shares her umbrella with them that is the right way very good children see shall we read it once again when other kids forget their umbrella anu shares her umbrella with them got it wonderful fourth one before anu got her umbrella who picked her from the school who whom did anu ask to ask her to pick remember yes it's her mom so how do we answer we need to pick half sentence from the question itself so before anu got her umbrella her mother picked her from the school see it's almost the same sentence is used as answer except for for the word who instead of who we have written her mother you got to know how to answer children that's good now fifth one how does anu's umbrella look like draw the picture and color it if you remember the story you know how the umbrella looked like what was the color of the handle remember and um, what was the color of the umbrella how many colors were there if you can recollect the story you can easily draw will you draw yes take out your rough note or a drawing book and start drawing well done children excellent job keep it up now let us read the story carefully and answer the questions children now pause the video read the passage carefully the sentences are simple try reading it okay once you finish reading then continue the video i have read it for you twice understand and then answer the questions got it children the title of the story is my father my father is a farmer he is very strong we go to park together sometimes he gives me a shoulder ride he likes spending time with me he is a great father i love him very much children i am going to read it again listen carefully i will not explain you the story the sentences are very simple you can easily understand okay after this i'll be asking you few questions let me see if you have understood the story you can easily answer it okay my father my father is a farmer he is very strong we go to park together sometimes he gives me a shoulder ride s h o u l d e r shoulder ride he likes spending time with me he is a great father i love him very much now that we have read the passage let us try to answer the questions given here amy read the passage carefully and fill in the blanks first one 
my father is a dash the options given are farmer or doctor my father is a dash what is the boy telling about his father in this passage he is a farmer correct write down f a r m e r far mer second one sometimes he gives me a dash ride it's shoulder ride or back ride what is it children what could you see in the picture the boy was sitting on his father's shoulder write down the spelling shoulder s h o u l d e r shoulder right got it third one my father is very strong or weak he is very strong very good write down strong s t r o n g strong b mean the compound word formed by joining a first one to plus get plus her is children remember we had learned about compound words in our previous videos right yes we learned that two or more words can be joined together to form a new word so what is that new word that we get by joining to get and her it's together correct let us write it down second one some plus time what is it what is the new word that we get by joining some plus time some time very good write it down see me underline the nouns in the passage now we need to read the passage once again identify the nouns and underline it so we shall read the passage my father is a farmer in the first line uh, what are the name, naming words that we find think quickly name name of a person over here yes it's father my father and farmer we have two naming words over here or two nouns it's father and farmer so we have underlined it next sentence he is very strong do we have any names over here no right good in the third sentence we'll check we go to park every day do you have any names over here yes what is it park wonderful so park is the name of a place wonderful children sometimes he gives me a shoulder ride now can we find any names names of uh, person place animal or thing over here yes what is it shoulder that's good shoulder is the name of a part of our body very good children if you have recognized it that is really good a big round of applause for you next he likes spending time with me he is a great father we have already marked father so we need not mark it again i love him very much could you find any names over uh, here in these three sentences no right yes so that means we have four naming words or nouns in this passage understood children d mean circle the pronouns in the passage so we need to go back to the passage again and circle the pronouns shall we do it we shall read the passage again and circle the pronouns before that children can you tell me what are pronouns yes think 
words that replace nouns or naming words are called pronouns or words that are used instead of nouns or naming words are called pronouns example he she it they i you me himself him all these are pronouns now in the first sentence my father is a farmer what is the pronoun that you find it's my very good children next he is very strong who is very strong father instead of the naming word father we are using he the pronoun circle it wonderful next we go to park together we means who are all the people going it's the boy and the father so we becomes the pronoun correct children sometimes he gives me a shoulder ride over here uh, can you guess the uh, pronouns yes he and me too very good children we have two pronouns in this sentence that is he and me as we have already circled he once we shall only circle me got it so it's possible to have more than one pronouns in a sentence sometimes he gives me a shoulder right next we are moving on to next one next sentence he likes spending time with me come on quick recognize the pronouns yes he and me again we have two pronouns but we have already marked so we are not going to mark it again next he is a great father so he is a pronoun that we have already marked next i love him very much now tell me i very good and there is one more quick recognize it yes it's him so let us circle i and him so we have 4 plus 2 six pronouns in this passage well done children excellent job keep it up that's it for today see you in next class jai gurudev